Uh, commiserations on the result, Andy. How are you feeling after that? Disappointed. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't have threw away a one goal, one goal lead. Both goals were, con were conceded were wow mistakes. Same as last week, all six goals were conceded last week. What a wow mistake! So there's eight, eight goals we've conceded through our own, uh, own, own mistake, which at this level is not going up. And as it happens, it, it punishes you again, and we got beat. Yeah, it was a tail of two halves, really. Um, where did the side go wrong? In the second half. Decision making, uh, lack of fight, lack of effort. We put up, we did all that in the first half, and then second half it was as if for four hours we've won the game. Which you put, as I say, punished with the, they, they were average. They didn't think they were very good. They didn't, they didn't really, they didn't really put us under any pressure. First half, maybe had a bollock in the second half, because as we everyone said, they were a different team in the second half. But I thought we uh, maybe showed a bit too much respect for them in the second half, and didn't the ugly stuff we did in the first half, we didn't do in the second half. Yeah, Lee Scott managed to uh, get his first goal in four months. How pleasing is it that he brought his boulder out? I said to him when he scored, he's, uh, he may as well do that more often. He's just, when, he, when he's had time, he seemed to miss it. The few games I've been here, when he's had time, he seemed to snatch at his shot. He didn't have any time to think the day and he put it in the top corner. So it's good. I mean, he'll do him, do him the world of good. Uh, I'm sure he would have rather not scored again, not to get the three points. But for, on a personal note, well, well, Scott, it's, it's good that he's. Uh, Got the monk off his back. Uh, could that second goal have been prevented by bringing fresh legs on? Well, you, you could have seen his output, whether that was fresh legs or not. I mean, it was decision making. We had two chances to put the ball over the top, and we, had, we could have kept it in the corner and then got across in. Uh, people taking one or two uh, more touches than they should have, and not wanting to pass the ball. And as I said, in, in football, it's got a nasty habit of biting you in the, in the backside. Uh, what positives can you take from the game today? <laughs> I think the first half performance, that's about it. Sometimes, sometimes you, you you need to have for ninety minutes. It's a shame we couldn't just play for forty five. But there's more negatives than positives, to be honest. Uh, what can the side now achieve in the in the remaining five games? Pride for the self. The player whether they want to be here next season or they want to be in another club. Because if if it was a other teams watching that the day, I'd much sure rather be many people there uh, putting our players' names down and all that. Uh, finally, looking ahead to the West London game next Saturday. What does the side need to do to get back to winning ways? Well, I think it's a perfect game for us because we. I mean, if you look at the games we've got, we've got them to play and they're fighting for their life. So it could, for me, it's a, it's a perfect, perfect game for the lads because there's something at stake. I mean, the, the, they had nothing to play for the day, Bishop Auckland. I mean, they got the three points and sometimes it was a bit like a uh, end of season. It was like a testimonial ten or times. Um, but next Saturday they. West Lockman's not going to be an easy push over because they're below us in the league, but they've got a lot of their players will have a bit of pride and a bit of fight and not want to get beat. Alright, cheers, Andy. No, well, that cheers.